up. I don't know why the fuck you clicked this video. Actually, I do know. Because you like to see YouTubers get what's coming to them. You want to see a YouTuber fuck around and find out. Not a YouTuber. More like those live streamers. Am I right? Live streaming. The final frontier fuckery. Anyways, get right into it. I know why you're here. You're here for bloodlust. From getting punched oh! to getting shot because real life isn't the same as online, here are seven times dumb influencers. Oh yeah, we're watching uh, Pexto, when YouTubers mess with real gangsters. I like that title. I like that title a lot. Was messed with the wrong people. Starting with possibly the most annoying creator in existence, Jack Doherty. His daredevil stunts and pranks, Valid. some of which are illegal, have had the police being called on him various times. For the remainder of your time, you need to put me on. I think I'm allowed to record yeah. for my personal... Yeah, you're in my cousin. Jack's behavior during his streams Dang. grew increasingly disturbing with his move to Los Angeles, eventually leading him to getting involved in serious situations with his fellow influencers. One such example was his altercation with Fusi. In August 2023, Jack was streaming live with Fusi and Neon when Fusi decided to throw water at Jack for calling him a beta male. Yo, yo, beta! Yo, 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 yo. The situation then escalated when Fusi swung back at Jack after he continued making comments. However, Jack's fans defended him a lot. Fusi is actually in the worst state I've ever seen him in, and he comes across as a nasty and disgusting person. The way he treated Jack was just crazy. But this wasn't the only time Jack's offhand comments have gotten him into trouble. Just a month later, Jack got involved in a heated argument with the Island Boys. As the argument escalated, one of the twins decided to slap Jack in front of the camera. This quickly became a pattern as he Man, once again slap. found himself on the receiving well, end of a slap. This time from a stranger who was oh, allegedly no. oh, offended. Really this quickly in, became a pattern as he once again found as the argument escalated, one of the twins decided to slap Jack. Bro, he slapped the dog meat out of him. Oh my God. He slapped the Bieber haircut off of Jack Dorothy. <laughs> Y'all see that? He hit him with the power of, of the island ancestors. <laughs> I'm an island. Bro, you get up here. Yo, the island boys, they might not be tough. But uh, they do not give a fuck and they will put hands on somebody, apparently. Jack in front of the camera. This quickly became a pattern as he once again found himself on the receiving end of a slap. This time from a stranger who was allegedly offended by a t-shirt worn by his bodyguard. Go wa walk away. Now, the irony of provoking and disrespecting someone while cowering behind security guards is out of this world. But that seems to be Jack's strategy, causing conflicts for his bodyguards to clean up, all for clout. Having a bodyguard to defend your battles after starting them is the most small man syndrome thing I can think of. Bro, it's so shysty. You're sitting there, you know you got security on you, so you're just gonna start antagonizing people so you can get a quick little click for the content. That's crazy, and should be illegal per, like, honestly. Like, you shouldn't be able to, like, you know, you shouldn't be able to watch. It's like, it's like bodyguards are, you know, you know you have them. So if you start running around goating people like that, and then just for your bodyguard to put hands on them, I mean, that you basically jump somebody. That's, that's no different than jumping somebody. Messing with somebody down the street because you know you got four or five people with you and they all jump in and whoop their ass. Yeah, you jump somebody. That's what you're doing. You jump at people. And while Jack is at least aware that he's annoying and picks on weak targets, the same can't be said about Neon, who got reality checked much harder than just a slap. Neon first got the taste of clout for playing dumb on December 21st, 2019, when he uploaded a video titled, Neon is Dying. Two days later, on December 23rd, he published a video called, Neon's Final Words. Another three days went by, and on December 26th, it was announced that Neon was gone. However, only five days. How'd he get his little brother, his cousin, to cry like that? That's crazy. What'd he do to him? What'd you do, Neon? What'd you do? What'd you, what'd you do to him? Tell the truth. We know. We got the evidence. We're going to expose you, Neon. That's why he cut off his hair. He's trying to change his identity. Think he could hide from us? Nah, Neon. We already know you tried to fake your death. We're on to you, buddy.
Days later, on December 31st, he uploaded a video telling his fans that he survived and that it only took two days for him to recover from his brain tumor and seizure. A lot What's crazy is I looked exactly like Dion when I was a kid. Oh my God, I hate the way I look. A lot of people made fun of him, making sarcastic comments such as, I was a stupid looking kid is all I'm saying. As he came, he conquered, he died, he resurrected. Were you killed? Sadly, yes, but I lived. I'm so sad he died, but he's alive. This encouraged Neon even further, as in mid-2023, a video of him getting beat up surfaced. However, this time around, a lot of people knew about his spineless behavior. Exactly. We Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop. Stop the cap. Behavior ...and weren't taking things at face value anymore, believing the video was fake from the start. Bro, no one gets caught lacking in the middle of a field and gets their short ripped. Remember when the baby was get? Remember when the baby had his season? This is what Neon was trying to go for. That type of clout. Uh uh. Nah. But their glasses stay on. His shirt not even dirty, and they in dirt. Now it's possible no one ever told Neon about the boy who cried wolf. You know, if you intentionally disrespect the wrong person, they'll give you a reality check, and rightfully so. <laughs> Neon. Oh, 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 Get on your hands and knees. Run, motherfucker, run! Get on your hands Arabian psychopath. Take it, bro. Oh, my. Oh, my. All right, all right, all right. But this slipping. wouldn't be the only time someone taught Neon a lesson. This just goes to show that when it comes to a fight, it's really not all about physical strength or being outnumbered. You either know how to actually fight, or you don't. There's also a chance that Neon's just a marketing genius. Bro. I knew it was about to happen. The way the little kid was going, whoo, whoo, I knew he was about to get hit. I thought it was, oh, man, look at it, look at it. Look at him. That's a five-year-old knocking you out. Neon, what the hell? Yeah, I see why Neon got Leon now. Now I see why Neon got Leon. You used to be Neon was with who? Aiden Ross, right? 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 Now he's with Leon. Now he's now Leon's with Neon. This is why. This is why. Because any if a five year old child could you if a five year old child could knock you the fuck out, you have to have the best security ever. And Leon is that. Leon is that. Can we all talk about the fact that Leon went from a side character to a main character? You know what I'm saying? If nothing else. They should just give Leon his own stream. Get rid of all these kids. Because uh, I would watch that. Just being a decent actor in his live streams. But even when going over the top, he can't match the toxicity of Zerka. A creator so vile, Twitch permanently... Bro, Zerka is fucking wild, bro. Zerka's the type of person that he sees somebody, he's like, you know what? How can I piss this person off and in which way? And then he finds the most extreme way to do that. Like, Zerk is the type of guy that would be running for uh, governor or something and just, you know, walk into middle town town, kicking little kids, little baby childs. Like, that's what they, they, he gives off that type of energy, honestly. Like, he would go to an orphanage and steal all the kids, you know, Halloween candy. Like, he, he don't give a fuck about nothing. Zerka, Zerka. Zerka reminds me of uh, the Grinch mixed with the Scrooge mixed with uh, who else is really mean? I don't know. Oh, oh, Mr. Burns. Yeah, Mr. Burns. But like a younger version. If you if all those three people had a baby and that baby grew up to to be like a, a Jim Bro podcast, um, like. You, he's not a power, he's not a he's not a manosphere guy. He's a podcast bro for sure. He dips his toes into the manosphere, but this guy's a fucking lunatic, in every which way. He banned him from appearing on their site. Jerka initially made a name for himself as a just chatting content creator on Twitch. However, he soon diverged to criticizing people such as Andrew Tate on both YouTube and Twitter. How many rounds? Oh, no fuck up that bald midget. How many rounds? I fight I'm you. taller. I'm stronger, and he's bald. These guys are pathetic, low life, no genuine burning desire from any of their women. While at the same time promoting even worse ideals on top of glorifying drug usage. I got money, so I get executive, that doesn't kill me. 
He also often talks about the Earth being flat and many other conspiracy theories. Remember, if the Earth's a globe, the Bible's not real. If the Earth had dinosaurs, the Bible's not real. Um, literally every end. Oh my God, Zerka. Zer okay, Zerka. The Bible's still real, right? Like the physical Bible is still real, okay? It, someone wrote that shit, okay? It's like Harry Potter. Harry Potter, the universe, fake as fuck. But Harry Potter, the book, though, that shit real, right? <laughs> like, bruh, this man, this man, it's God that is not real, bro. The earth is still round. You don't have to worry. Like, this shit is crazy. Dinosaurs are not, dinosaurs don't exist. Like, I, the earth is flat because of the Bible? Bro, there's actually people that unironically listen to this guy as he speaks into that microphone and they go yo no shot this guy my hero like bro come on he's a flat earther if you out here li taking taking advice from people who think the earth is flat bro your life is doomed i don't care i'm sorry that's just the way it is angle is an attack on the bible right this stupidity would eventually make him start a beef with HS Tiki Taki and popular streamer Aiden Ross, causing an outrage on social media by making derogatory comments regarding HS Tiki Taki's mother, as well as Aiden Ross's former partner, Pammy. Jerka then took the rivalry to new heights when he suggested that he'll find HS Tiki Taki and fight him on the streets. And he did just that. Oh, boys. 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 Oh. 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 All right, two seconds into the fight, he get manhandled. He get man. Look, this man got white pants on. You don't fight a man in white pants, man. Everybody knows that. A man got white pants on. You put your hands up. He about to whoop your ass with a quickness, drag you in the streets. That's what's happening right now. You not fighting, Zerka. You getting dragged. He dragging you around the road. That the road. Your knees, bro. Look at you. You are Zerka. You are a grown man. And you are on your knees, sir. There is no excuse for that. That's two L's in less than 30 seconds of this video. Zerka, you believe in flat earth. You don't believe in dinosaurs because of the Bible. And you on your knees in fights. You, will, I'm sorry, Zerka. You cannot be because I don't consider you a man. I don't care how big and tough you think you are. But you get manhandled. You are, and you are on your knees in the middle of the fight. In front of God and everybody. But don't worry, it's okay because God don't exist. So that's at least less one one less person that you gotta worry about watching this shit. <laughs> Bro, you just got back up and you on the ground again. You pretty much on your knees again, bro. That's I'm gonna just call it a knee shot again. Oh, there it is. There it is. Back on the knees, bro. 99% of this fight already. You have spent on your knees, Zerka. We got it. And it's probably because you think the earth is not round, right? Because you think the earth is flat. So you, you walk around the earth thinking, I don't got to worry about my balance because the earth is completely flat. So I'm good. You're wrong, Zerka. You're wrong. It's not flat. It's clearly a globe. And the evidence is in your knee work, bro. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, the only thing he managed to do is merely show his butt crack to the world and get embarrassed, making him out to be a laughing stock forever. Bro, he hooked you. You're gripped. You're dead. You're beat. You're shot. You got dragged into the streets, bro, on your knees. <laughs> it's crazy. Zerka is the literal definition of the loudest in the room is usually the weakest. Valid. Zerka has the agility of an armadillo and the balance of a toddler. Azurka may possibly be his own worst enemy, but the same can also be said about Sneeko, whose recent stunt had him hit much worse. This guy, who first got famous for his video, Would You Say the N-Word for a Dollar?, eventually started becoming extremely disliked by left-wing viewers due to his supposed misogynistic, homophobic, and transphobic content. Oh. They can ask us what we do. First question when you go on a date, what do you do? They're just asking how much money do you make, but you shouldn't ask a woman her age. Why? Why? Let me see the stats. What's your body count? How old are you? How much you weigh? Tell me.
As Sneakle went on to upload social political commentary and hot takes, his ideals led him into situations that quickly developed into beefs. One such instance was in May 2022, where Sneakle responded to Penguin Zero's video live. Look, like, you look, look at the curtain pulled all the way down. You need to get some sun. The whole way you're living life like a f***ing a man, you calling him a virgin, you are literally a man child. Now this did not. You can't be coming for people, Nico. Not with your track record, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You got way too much zesty shit out there about you to be talking shit to anybody. I, I'm gonna say this with my full potato ness. This Sneeko, Sneeko is literally the zestiest motherfucker to ever stream in the history of forever, them, my bro. Like I'm telling you right now, Zest, the, the zestiest streamer award goes directly to Sneeko every year. Not go down well with Penguin Zero, who later uploaded a video titled, I didn't want to talk about this, calling out Sneeko for making fun of his girlfriend, as well as criticizing him for defending the movie Cuties. The thing about Cuties is it's not an unrealistic film. Like yes, it shows children in a sexual way, but this is not unusual now. Blaming children in sexual positions is clickbait. Yikes. Sneeko responded to this on a Rumble stream where Penguin Zero was also live at the time. The two would then continue to trash talk each other back and forth, eventually making Sneeko threaten Penguin Zero with a gun. Watch my clips! Watch my clips! However, Penguin Zero then silenced Guns? Sneeko. But he's a f imbecile, you absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips, you absolute the same way that this is also a man. They're all- Bro, Sneeko getting, Sneeko getting sunk over here. The man's pulled out the arm, the army artillery with the 3345 hard R scope. I, like, look, I don't, look, I'm not an expert on weaponry, okay? I don't really know much about it. But what I do know is if you want to, if you want to get to some shit like this motherfucker got right here, you got to use 13 different guns just to unlock half of those attachments, okay, on the on the last Call of Duty. Let's just put it like that, all right? This motherfucker's ready for war. <laughs> like, Sneeko, you don't want to smoke. Just, just, just stick, just go, you know, you might want, you could talk shit, you might could talk shit to Myron like that, all right, for fresh and fit. But you can't talk shit to this motherfucker. Like, I don't really watch this guy's channel. I've seen his clips a couple times. You know, no shade, clearly. Because I, I don't have uh, I don't have a ar arsenal in my bedroom. <laughs> Actually. Never mind. We ain't going to talk about that chat. Like, I, uh, this, it's, uh, I'm going to play dumb on this video. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> Now this time, the only damage Sneeko suffered was emotional, but that would change not even a year later. In February 2024, he got his toughness checked again as he stepped into the ring with Sean Strickland. This made the internet very happy. This is the kind of reality check these out-of-touch streamers need. Sean went from 10% to 50 Now, I still haven't seen that video. I still haven't seen that video. It's come up on my uh my suggested videos a couple times, but um I heard about it. I could care less if you got knocked out, honestly. It I don't know. I guess it's one of those things where like you know, I you could tell they set this up. He showed up, he put on the gloves, like yeah, he, he knew he was going to get beat up. And this guy didn't, isn't they're not going to give him the 100% in that type of atmosphere just because it's not good for business for like if you got people coming that are a higher profile uh type individual, right? And they come to your gym and then you just knock them cold out. It's like for real. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to do that. So yeah, did he get beat up? Yeah, but it wasn't like it was just this would have happened in like regular sparring for your first time too. So it wasn't I, I I just didn't see it as like a oh, this is surprising, like he went to a gym they showed him what it's like to actually really participate in that sport obviously that's not gonna go the you know it's not gonna you're not gonna look like a fucking winner in that situation no one does no one does uh i i, I would I, i'm not gonna say no one 
there's a small minority of people who can experience what he's experiencing right now and not experience exactly in the way he experienced it by pretty much it looking like you got beat up right like but what i know is that's not what these guys are doing they're just trying to get him acclimated show him what the ropes are about and so because of that i already knew he's not actually getting knocked out um i know they drew a little bit of blood but again this type it's a it, it it's a gym they fight like that type of shit happens all the time that's not irregular watching a youtube video of motherfuckers that don't fight and then they see somebody they you know they got a little bit of blood or something on their face because of the fight then yeah that's gonna be oh wow this is oh i can't believe that happened yeah it's because you don't spend no time in the gym you never been there so this when i when i seen the the clickbait type videos i had or i you know popping on my shit i just didn't care so again i haven't seen this video I, I might, this is actually probably the first time i'm actually seeing this and not in um yeah you know not in yeah, anyways fuck it 50 percent and showed sneeko what a good old ass whooping feels like strickland should do a beat up an influencer weekly podcast hell i'd watch that however yeah look i knew it yeah see he just got a little bit of a bullet and i was like that's not uncommon look like did he get beat up yeah he got beat up but i think anybody going through this type of like acclimation process is gonna look like that like he, he, i'm not giving him props for showing up and participating because obviously he's doing this so you know people will watch his shit he knows people want to see him get punched in the face he knows that you know what i mean so that's what this is about i don't see it as an l it it's a calculated risk that's the way I see it. However, despite being destroyed by Sean, Sneeko did have the confidence to step into the ring and take it on the chin. Literally. See? 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 Got, even already this guy's like, oh, yeah, at least he had. And it's true. Because that's, it. look, even the guy that punched him in the face, man, he's like, yeah, he did it. He broke his cherry. You. That's part of uh being in their circle, getting into a space with somebody that you know you probably can't handle and pushing yourself right so really um in this moment it was probably seen more as a win for him so i don't think he was as embarrassed as other people wanted to think he probably posted this thinking yeah i'm gonna get some shade for this but um there's gonna be some people who do know what the fuck they're talking about and they're gonna see it as uh you know a coming to a coming to age story so to speak you know break like i said breaking his cherry Really. The same thing cannot be said about this next influencer. Aiden Platerski, labeled the Crypto King, owned a crypto kingdom that seemed to be a win-win for everyone. He promised millions for his investors, while he got to drive his fancy cars, fly in private jets, and live in luxury locations. However, as it soon turned out, his $40 million empire was nothing but a giant Ponzi scheme, and he was about to learn the price of being a scammer. Oh, yo, you don't scam, yo. Yeah. Look, there's a certain type of person that can get away with scamming. And that's that's like a rich banker. You know what I mean? A Wall Street type of dude. If that's not you, you're probably not going to get away with it. Somebody, people, you can't just scam people. People will do something about it. I don't know what the fuck is about to happen here. But one thing I know is if you get caught up as a scammer, yeah, you're fucked. Late one night in early December, Aiden was kidnapped and then beaten and tortured over three days. Eventually, his kidnappers, which included one of his investors, let him go. That's crazy, bro. Wow. I mean, I don't I don't condone that type of violence. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what I would do if somebody scammed me like that, to be honest with you. Um, I'm, you know, I would, I would hope to think that I would never fucking think of doing something like this. That's, that's three days. Oof. Yeah, you know what? You almost don't want to think about it like this is a horrible thing. Because, like, yeah, this guy's getting revenge. But kidnapping, beating somebody for three days, and tor that's torture. That's torture. Um, Yeah, you're going to do some time for that, man. So I don't know if I would do that. You know? I don't know if that's worth it. Because you're not getting your money back. Like, but, hey, look. Not everybody gives a fuck about that type of shit. Sometimes you run into the right one. 
he scammed the wrong motherfucker and they don't give a fuck about uh tomorrow they worry about today oh but they left him with a threat pay up fast and don't go to the police well toronto police officers still managed to apprehend all of the five kidnappers following this Aiden went on to post a video trying to garner sympathy from his followers. Everything that happened is my fault. I'm not going to put the blame on anybody else. I'm not going to try to put the blame on anybody else. I feel humiliated. I feel disgusted in my actions. I feel disgusted in what I did. But people would see through his haphazard apology. He's apologizing because he got caught and got his ass whipped, not because he's sorry he scammed people. Zero sympathy. While his kidnappers would all be charged with the crime, the only person not charged would be Aiden, the scammer who started the whole situation to begin with. I really don't understand how people like Aiden can simply walk free. If I walk into my local supermarket, push the lady at the till, and grab a couple of bucks and walk off, I would be in handcuffs before the sun sets. He steals millions, admits as much, and no real consequences. Well, until now. But what if getting beat up wasn't the worst injury you could sustain? Tanner Cook, a 21-year-old prankster, is the mastermind behind the YouTube channel. Oh my god, I remember this one. I remember this, chat. This shit was crazy. This shit went mega viral. It didn't matter who the fuck you were, if you watched this type of content or not, you heard about this. Because it was it was all over the news. It was all over every piece of social media. Like every other video that I've scrolled up to on TikTok involved this shit at the time. Like, and I remember what I remember the most about it is this guy right here to me, to me, looks like a motherfucker don't want to talk to nobody. Like, you know, people that just stay home all the time and they only leave when they have to leave. Right. Like he looks like a guy. Don't talk to me. Don't engage me. And, and like, and I, I would, I would heed that warning from his you know, from, from his, uh, uh, from his, his ambiance, <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fucking with that, mm -mm. but this guy, this guy, he's such a douchebag, uh, he sees that, he said, he thinks, yeah, that's my clickbait, channel, classify, I mean, the guy's, the guy's an Uber Eats driver, or whatever the fuck type of, you know, app he's working with, like, literally, to do that job, you don't gotta you don't gotta see nobody. You leave the food on the front doorstep, you dip. Like half the time when I fucking order food like that, I I don't even see the people. I haven't seen a person like that in a minute. Cause they just drop that shit off and they go and they, they get paid. That like look, this guy goes out of his way. In my opinion, this guy goes out of his way to make sure people don't even engage him. <laughs> you about to find out why too goons. As the name suggests, the pranks are classified as dangerous, making Tanner out to be a tough goon, someone who isn't meant to be messed with, when in fact, it's quite the opposite. While Tanner elicits responses from the victims of his pranks for views, one day, he didn't get the response he expected. Invading someone's personal space and then refusing to leave them alone after they tell you numerous times leaves you with one option. You're literally, bro. I can't. Yo, how did you not? He kept telling you to stop. He kept telling you to stop. Like, come on now. You're going to get dealt with by a person who has been pushed too much. Lesson to dummies. Mm -hmm. Do not prank random. Nope, 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 nope. Let's bring it back to there, chat. Hold on. You with one option. You're going to get dealt. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that man. I'm not saying he's a cold blood murderer, right? All this is I'm saying is that that's the face of a man that said that look. That's the face that says I don't want to be talked to at all. And if I talk to you, you better give me the least words back as pot. Like give me as little bit of words as you can back possible. Because honestly. That, like, look at his face. No, no, I would not. I could be, I could be standing next to the grocery, standing to this guy in the grocery store, and I'm looking for some, whatever it is. I'm not. I, I'm gonna look at him, uh, and I'm gonna look away because I'm not asking him anything, right? Like this guy could be at GameStop. I walk in, and and he. This is the only GameStop for 500 miles, and GTA 6 came out 
yesterday, right? And I haven't, I don't got it in my hands yet. As I walk in to the GameStop and I see this guy behind the counter. I'm walking out. I'm I'm traveling 500 miles to wherever the fuck the next GameStop is because I'm not talking to him. He don't want to be talked to. Them eyes say, don't talk to me. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand how that dude, how that dude, that YouTuber, I don't understand how he fucked this up. This is a simple one. You don't talk to people like him. With by a person who has been pushed too much. Listen to dummies. Do not prank random people or they will prank you. Never underestimate the public. Tanner, who is much bigger and more intimidating to the shooter, was taught a masterclass in F around and find out. And yet, he still didn't learn his lesson, continuing to upload videos like nothing happened. So you'll continue to make videos? Yeah, probably. We'll see, you know? How disappointed are you about this? So I really don't care. Good. I mean, it is what it is. It's God's plan at the end of the day, so. Oh my God, God's plan is crazy. God's plan is crazy. What is it with this guy? Bro, he's not, he ain't finna save you. Tanner was lucky to make it out despite getting shot. This is something that Timothy Wilkes did not get to experience. Inspired by other pranksters he'd seen, Timothy began dreaming of creating his own YouTube channel, recreating some of the dangerous pranks other YouTubers had done before him. However, this dream got cut short in February 2021 when Timothy, along with a friend, were in the midst of filming a prank robbery as part of a YouTube video. Armed with butcher knives, they approached a group of people. Unaware of the robbery being a prank, one of those group members shot Timothy in self-defense. Now in the end, Timothy did get the clout he wanted, but just for the wrong reasons. Damn. That's fucking, that's horrible, man. I mean, look, I understand the dude, that was a stupid thing to do. Thinking you could, a prank with, with some, with some knives, butcher ones at that. Come on now, like that, even if, like, if he would have survived, which would have been the better outcome, obviously, he probably still would have done some time for something like that. I don't think there's any excuse for something like that, and it's 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 completely understandable um, that the that the person who uh, that killed him killed him. Um, but it's tragic, and it's crazy because you look at all of these different uh, YouTubers, and I would say uh, most of their content. If not all of it is just as extreme, right? Like, but having a weapon in your hand while you're doing that, that's another level of it as well. Cause that's an intimidation factor. Like, um, I don't think anybody deserves to die, but clearly you, you can't be running around doing that type of shit. Uh, you're going to find out this is the fuck around and find out part of YouTube. Clearly. I don't know what live streamers are on. I don't know why. They really need to figure that shit out. Especially if anybody, if you're thinking of doing anything like this, don't do it. Just be more creative, man. Come up with some other shit. Cause uh, this, that 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 young man shouldn't uh, shouldn't be gone. Not for not not for YouTube, man. Definitely not. All right, guys. I hate the fact that you watch this video. I don't know why you fucking watch my videos. I'm literally a potato at um, making videos. So do me a favor. Do not. Uh, fucking like this video. In fact, don't sub to my channel. Fuck that. Go to Pixto shit. Sub to his shit. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to his channel. Go like his video. I'm going to put the uh, uh, link in the description. So if you guys want to go watch that video without the potato, you can. It's your boy Potatoes Kratos. And I have no idea why you watch this video. Unclick my shit. Get out of here. Go away.